Hi, this is Peter with Account Services, and we are calling in reference to your current credit card accounts. There's no problems currently with your account. Yeah. However, it is urgent that you contact us concerning your eligibility for lowering your interest rates to 0%. Your eligibility expires shortly, and this is your final notice. Good. So please press 1 now to speak to a live operator. Once again, press 1 now. Order. Hi, thank you for calling. If you would like to be added to our Do Not Call list, press 8 now. Otherwise, to speak to a rate specialist, press 3 now. Thank you and have a Making me day. jump through DTMF hoops. <laughs> do uh, Colonel Quigley. <clears throat> All right, very good. I'll get the... You don't have your flash player ready to go. Does this work? That's too loud. All right, very good. Hello, this is Chris with MMG. How are you today? Uh, Chris, I'm I'm doing very well. What, who, what's your company? MMG, sir. MMG, the for the all right, call, very good. It's just to discuss your eligibility all right. on reducing your current credit card interest rates. All right, very good. So I know you're probably busy. I'll be very brief here. All but right. You see, you might qualify for one of our unique hardship programs. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yes, and that is yes, actually sir. where we're able to drastically <laughs> reduce not just the interest rate, but we can also reduce the credit card debt itself. All right, very good. So let's, let's go over your credit yes, sir. Let's do a quick budget analysis. All right. Let me see what I can get you qualified mm. for. At this moment, how many accounts make up your debt balance? I mean, what are we looking at here? Oh, I'd, you know, in my older age, eight, nine, ten thousand, about. Okay, so let's start with our highest one. Who is it with? Oh, that's, that's Visa. All right, what well, bank yes, do you sir. have that Visa card with? Yes, sir, with Chase. Chase, Chase. Visa. Yes, sir. Okay. And how much do you owe with that Chase account? Well, that's 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 probably about nine thousand. Nine thousand, nice. What well, that's our primary. Uh, my wife Bernice and I. That's our 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 go-to card. Okay. Yes, sir. And what kind of limit do you have with that credit card? I I don't know. I hope it doesn't get maxed out. They, you know, we keep getting a mail from them saying it's a twenty thousand, fifty thousand, whatever. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, what do you pay monthly on that account? Well, we're trying to. Trying to keep current with it. I don't remember. Yeah, my Bernice handles that. I mean, give me an average. What does it look like on a monthly basis? If you could just give me a ballpark. Oh, I, several thousand dollars, sir. Several thousand dollars? Yes, sir. Okay. You know, between the interest and the, and the payments, uh, the the expenses we ring up anyway. So, so it's, it's, from the sound of it, it sounds like you're still using the credit card, and you use it on. Yes, system. sir. But uh, you know, it, uh, unfortunately, the you know the debt doesn't go down. Uh, I can imagine the interest. Rate. What kind of interest are they charging you? Oh, that's. Oh, I don't know about thirteen uh, percent, sir. Okay. Now, what about the other credit cards? What do we have? Oh, it's Diners Club, American Express. You know, there's that other secondary stuff. Diners Club. What kind of balance do you have with Diners Club? I have four thousand, about forty-five. Four thousand. Yes, sir. And how's that limit? I don't know. I hardly use that card. That's Bernice's card. Okay. And what do you guys pay monthly on that account? That, that's up to her. She's not here right now. She's at the at the social club. Okay. And if you average it out, I mean, what do you guys usually pay Diners Club? That's that's got to be couple of thousand dollars a month also, you know, on a retirement income that's uh, is, uh, killing, killing us. Okay, and do you know what kind of interest they're charging you guys? No, sir, not on that card. All right, and you said you had an American Express. What kind of balance you have with American Express? That's probably about uh, six, six thousand. That's the middle one. Six thousand, okay. Yes, sir. How's the limit with that card? Where, I uh, don't know. I hardly ever use it. It's not everywhere I want to be. Account. On the American Express, what do you pay monthly on that? Yes, account? sir. That's that's also Bernice's deal. She, you know, she. I don't know if you're married, but I, the women love controlling the credit cards. Been married 52 years. Oh well, congratulations, my thank, friend. Thank you. So, let me ask you this. Yes, sir. I can definitely help you reduce the balance. All right. I can definitely get you out of the interest rate. 
But you have to stop using the credit cards. Well, I understand that, sir, but you know you got to put food on the uh, table, and we've got grandkids, and uh, they have birthdays. Yeah, there are expenses. No, I understand that as well. So we could do two things here. All right. I could take out the Chase account, so that way you still have that in access, so you can still use the Chase. And we'll just enroll you with the Diners Club of 4000 and the American Express for 6000 All right. Very good. Is that way you guys still have Chase, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, do you guys still use the Diners Club and the American Express? Well, we use it from time to time. Sometimes we, you know, you, uh, American Express is handy to pay off Visa. Okay. Yes, sir. So when you say you guys pay roughly a thousand dollars a month, what does that mean? So last month, what did you guys pay them? Well, I don't know. It depends upon the card. I have to go get the credit card receipts. I don't, I don't know. That was that was a month ago, sir. We it was almost a month ago. Okay. I did can't you tell you what I had for statements? dinner last night. Hmm. Did you receive yes, the credit card statements this month? No, sir. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So what we do here? A you know, lot of questions. Adds up to be around ten thousand. Yes, sir. Together. So we bundle this up as one monthly payment for you. But it has to work around your budget. Right. So let me ask you this. What do you bring in on a monthly basis after taxes? What do you take home? Well, I'm not working. I, I get uh, Social Security uh, and a uh, pension from the Navy. I was a retired United States Navy colonel, actually. Oh, well, thank you for serving the country. Yes, sir. So if you could average it out, what are we looking at here on a monthly basis? What do you take home? Oh, I don't know. It's... Uh, it's I uh, did take home before expenses and everything, I guess a couple of thousand. A few thousand okay, here. Yes, sir. Two thousand a month? Oh, three about. Three thousand a month? Yeah, 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 about three thousand a month. Okay. Now, are you paying rent? Are you paying mortgage? Yes, sir, we pay rent. How much is your monthly rent? Oh, the rent is uh, probably four four fifty a month. Okay. Well, this is, certainly is a, an in depth. Uh, in uh, interview here, normally people call up with an Indian accent, try to get all kinds of credit card information. You know, these people are scammers. I don't know if you've had, you run into them. No, actually, myself, I had a, a lady the other day. She did have a very strong Indian accent. Yes, sir. And uh, the first thing she did, because I do have credit cards, so that's the only reason why I assume they called me. And the first thing she did was she did ask for my credit card number, and I thought that was very weird. I just hung up on her. Right. So I, I, That's I, I what you got to do with these people. You got to hang up on of them. Of course. They get of your course. credit card number. They get the expiration uh, date. Never. And you never, never, ever no, keep sir. your credit card number out. Unless you're paying something online, no one should ever have access to that. Absolutely. Darn tootin'. Darn tootin'. You know, what I do here is I just go over a quick budget analysis with you. But I, I show you exactly what I can qualify you for. You know, you have to meet with us face-to-face to get enrolled. All right. Very good. Where are you located? I'm in New Jersey. I'm in New oh, Jersey. for Pete's sakes. That's, uh, I don't have easy pass. What am I going to do? Take oh, the... we actually we sent somebody somebody out to you. We have attorneys in 48 states. We're nationwide. All right. Very good. So I was going to ask you, do you have any life insurance policies you pay in a monthly basis? Yes, sir. Bert, what, Bert, it sounds funny. I shouldn't even laugh, but Bernice took out a life insurance policy on me. What does that mean? Oh, well, trying to secure the grandkids. Yeah. All right. What do, All right. What do you guys it's one way of looking on at it. I'm sorry? What do you guys pay monthly on that policy? All right. That's her policy. I don't know. She seems to be happy with it. I mean, if you average it out, what do you think you guys pay monthly on that? 100 a month or less than that? Yeah, it's probably 75 Okay. Not worth do that much. Any- do you have any medical expenses? No, sir. I mean, occasionally I go see doctor, uh, go see a taxidermist, but other than that, I'm fine. Great. Now, all I have to do now is finish the application. I send you over to the law firm. They voice verify everything. Then we have to schedule a date to send a representative from the law firm to meet with you face to face and bring out the documents to you. All right. And we Very good. I have to be there as well. Yes, sir. So I want to make sure you're clear on how this works. Once you're enrolled in our program, what we do next is we open up a reserve account under your name solely, like an escrow account. Are you familiar with escrow accounts? Yes, sir, I am. You keep keep my cash. 
All right, that is where you make your monthly payments of 272 each month while we enter negotiation with the credit card companies. All right, very that good. Way, after the 32 months, both accounts will be paid off, and it will reflect paid with the zero balance. All okay, right. Now, since we're paying off the credit cards in this fashion, we're not going to make the monthly installments to them. Initially, you may see a decrease in your credit score, and you no longer be able to use the credit cards. But judging after a conversation, it doesn't even sound like you want to get yourself more into debt anytime soon, right? Yes, You'd sir. You'd rather get out of the debt here, correct? Yes, sir. Great. Now, the way we do our payments are by electronic funds transfer once a month from either a checkings or savings account. That's going to go directly to the new reserve account we're opening up for you. All right. So that way the credit well, that's card with company... Well, that's with your company. No, it's not direct with our company. It's called Global Client Solutions. So that's the bank. You're going to open up your new escrow account. That's the savings accounts under your name, although under your wife's name. And that is where you're going to make your monthly payments to. Now, while you make your monthly payments there, you're going to stop paying both credit cards. All right. Okay? So since you stopped paying the American Express and the Diners Club, we're able to negotiate now with them. But they're seeing that you're still making a monthly payment to the savings account. So when we negotiate with them, they're going to say, all right, they're making their monthly payments there. And by their monthly payments, they know exactly how long it's going to take you guys to pay them back due to your monthly payments. All right. That's, Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right. Now, the way we do our payments, as I said, is by electronic funds transfer once a month from either a check or savings account. That's going to go directly to the new reserve account. We're opening up for you. All right, so remember, you're not going to pay the Diners Club or American Express anymore. No, sir. Now, keep in mind. you know you They're not going to be right. happy about that. Who's not going to be happy about that? Yeah, you stop paying the credit card companies, you're going to be very upset. Well, that's why we can negotiate with them. And, you know, the reason... Oh, I say you, right, I say offers, you piss them off, and then that makes them negotiate. I mean, I, this, this is the way we're able to get the offers. I can see where my credit's going to go. It's going to go to Davy Jones's locker. Not necessarily. I you know, just see it as in, God forbid, anything happens to you guys, you can't pay the credit cards for the first couple of months. I don't think they take that. kindly to that. They They want their bottom line. Not necessarily, like I said, when we enter negotiation with these credit card companies, we're not negotiating just with your debt. We grab your debt, we add it, up, we add it with other clients in our program. So when we approach each creditor, well, these attorneys bring over 100000 500000 in just credit card debt. All right. So we bring a bundle to the table, and that's the reason why we get the office we're able to get. Now, what's your company name again? I'm sorry. I keep forgetting these things. Yes, it's MMG. MMG, all right. New Jersey, okay. very good. Now, I do want to ask you one thing. The th 32 months, your monthly payment is 272 Is that a good monthly payment? I mean, since you're paying more, I want to make sure I can put you in a good position. Do you guys, it, what is your plan? Your plan is to get out of the debt here, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, 272 is that something comfortable for, for you to make, right? Yes, sir. On a monthly basis. Yes, sir. Okay. Because, you know, the faster you get out of the debt, the better it is for you. And I just want to make sure... I, you know, you, you understand your options. If I put you in an 18-month program, now instead of waiting for 32 months, you're in 18 months, and your monthly payment is 432. Which two programs do you think will be better for you? I'd Back say the program 18 months. I'd say probably. I'd say probably the first one. 32 months, 272 a month. Yes, sir. Got it. Okay. I remember, you, got, you have to tell your wife that she can't use the credit cards anymore. Oh boy, you don't want to be around for that. Hey, but you still have the Chase account to still use. Now, you're telling me that your wife's, that's her credit cards. Your yes, name sir. Is not the nor near the credit cards? It's just under her name? No, the uh, Diners Club and then American Express are under her name. Okay. Yes, sir. And what is your wife's first and last name? That's Bernice. Bernice. Yes, that's sir. B-E-R-N-I-C-E. -E. Yes, sir. Last name? Quigley. Same as mine. Spell that out for me. Q U I G L E Y. Q U I. Okay. And your first name? Franklin. Franklin P. Quigley, United States Navy, retired. Nice to meet you, Franklin. All right. Your date of birth, Franklin? Is uh, January. I just had a birthday, January 29. Oh, but happy birthday. Yes, sir. I mean, two days ago. It was two days ago. Yes, sir. Still recovering. Still recovering. 
long party nights, right? Well, you know, a party night for us is putting a mic, uh, a scoop of uh, caffeinated in with a decaf. I don't know if it's a crazy night by your standards. <laughs> hey, but I'm glad to hear that. I mean, it's still going, right? Yes, White sir. White shooting, you right? Yes, sir. That's good to hear. So it's 129. What's the year? 1944. Okay. And your social, Franklin? Uh, is... Uh, or you want the whole entire number? Usually they just get the last four digits. Nine, any of the full numbers. These are legal documents we're going to send out to you, so they all have to be printed out. Oh, my goodness. All right. Very good. Uh, uh, 520 okay. uh, and 3-3873. Uh, all right. And what is Bernice's date of birth? Oh, she's uh, she's a spunky 4th of July in 1947. Right. Yes, sir. 4th of July, 1947. You can That's imagine the birthday weekend. celebration. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it goes out for quite a while. That's good, Bernice. Yes, 4th sir. 4th of July, 1947. And her husband's a retired Navy rat. Yes, sir. There you go, see? It was meant to be, right? Yes, sir. 52 years together. Wow, congratulations. Yes. Nowadays, that's very hard to see. Oh, yeah, the divorce rate is over 60%. Yeah, I mean, I see that you keep her happy, though. You give her all the credit cards. Yeah, uh, well, it's, right? she, she took the credit cards, so she made herself happy. <laughs> now, write, I want you to write my number down. Yes, sir. 732. 732. 210. 210 9346. 9346? Yes. 732 210 9346. That is correct. That's to reach me directly. All right. It's Christian. Right, my first name, Christian. Yes, sir. Last name, Gomez. Christian Gomez. All right, with MMG in uh, New Jersey. MMG. Now, write this down as well. All right. Very good. Commonwealth. Yes, sir. Law Group. Commonwealth Law Group. That is correct. All right. Well, who are they? That is the law firm that will represent you and your wife throughout the whole 32 months with both credit cards. That is who will negotiate directly with the creditors. Now, I also want to let you know this. I want you to be clear before I transfer you to the law firm. All right. All of our fees, all of our costs, Everything is built into your monthly payment of 272. All right. So there is no net cost to you. All right. You guys, you guys just have to commit yourself to make a monthly payment of 272 for 32 months. Now, if it comes a month that you guys are willing to pay a little bit more to fasten the process out, there's no penalties for early payments. All right. You're not locked in for 32 months. But everything's already bundled up in your monthly payment. All right. All right. So Very tomorrow. Good. When we send somebody out, they're going to call you beforehand. They're going to say, hey, this is, uh, Franklin, this is Commonwealth Law Group. Um, you know, we're confirming the appointment today. You say, yes, I confirm it. We show up. You're going to see all the documents. Everything I'm explaining to you is going to be right there, black and white, guaranteeing you in 32 months. We'll save you over 1200 on the principal. You are paying 0% for now on with the American Express and the Diners Club. And you're going to see all of our fees. Everything's already bundled up in your monthly payments. Okay? All right. Yes, everything sir. Everything there. Everything in black and white. Bernice has to be there as well. Go through everything. Remember, you're not going to use the credit cards anymore. Initially, because you're going to stop paying the credit cards, you will see a decrease in your credit score. But after you're completely out of the credit card debt, your credit score will easily rehabilitate itself. You're going to have these banks giving you calls left and right trying to get you back into debt. But this time... You're going to be more controllable. You still have the Chase credit card for your use. Okay? You guys can still use the Chase account. Which All right. The American Express and the Donuts Club. Sounds good? Oh, it sounds wonderful. All right, Franklin. Well, Franklin, you have my number. It was a pleasure speaking with you. I want to say the first one to say congratulations for taking a step forward to getting yourself out of this debt here. I'm going to transfer you over to the law firm right now. They're All right. going to go over everything with you. Make sure you're clear. And then they're going to final the date for tomorrow at 1 p.m. You're all set. All right, buddy? All right. Sounds good. 
Sounds good. Well, yes, it sir. was a pleasure speaking with you, Franklin. Give me one second. I'm a chance to go right now, right? All right. Very good. I don't hold. All right. One second. Yes, sir. This is tedious. Hi, is this Franklin? Yes, ma'am, it is. Who is this? Hi, Franklin. My name is Erica. I'm in the compliance department. All right. Very uh, good, Erica. Get... Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Um, just to get everything wrapped up here, I need to go through and verify the information that you provided Christian with. And yes, ma'am. And then we'll go through... I will go through a series of yes or no questions. All At right. that point, I'll be able to get that appointment set up for you and one of our representatives, okay? All right. All right. Franklin, let me advise you that this phone call will be recorded for compliance purposes, okay? Yes, I imagine it is being recorded. Yep, absolutely. Okay, Franklin. So I have your legal name as Franklin P. Quigley. Yes, ma'am. And I have that... United so States as, Navy retired. Oh, well, thank you for your service, sir. Uh, let's see. We have your name spelled as F R A N K L I N P Q U I G L E Y. Yes, ma'am. Alrighty, and we have your date of birth as January 29th, 1944, and your social as 5200093873. Is that all correct? Yes, ma'am. So far, so good. Perfect. And we have Bernice in the program with us as well. Wow, and she's not even name? here. Boy, is this going to be a surprise. <laughs> All right, so we have Bernice spelled as B-E-R-N-I-C-E. -E. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and her date of birth is July 4th, 1947. Uh, yeah, well, she would say 57, yes. <laughs> and, um, Franklin, would you happen to know Bernice's Social Security number? No, ma'am, that's, you know, that and her weight. A very big secret. <laughs> All right, so just... We will need Bernice to fill that information in when you guys meet with the representative tomorrow, okay? All right, very good. So the total amount of enrolled debt is approximately $10,000. We have you approved for a 32-month program, and your payment will be for the amount of $272, which will begin on February 10th and the 10th of every month. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Now, you're, uh, you're with MMG. What does that stand for? Uh, no, I am with uh, the Compliance Department of Commonwealth. All MMG right. is one of the marketing and enrollment companies that we work with. That's where Christian is. Oh, I under. All right, very good. Okay. All righty. So next, what we'll do is we will go through these series of yes or no questions. Now, Mr. Quickly, if you have any questions for me as I go through these, you just let me know. Okay. All right. Very good. All now, right. let me ask you that. Right, sure, I do have a question for you. Huh? How is this sure. different debt debt reduction than those uh, Indian people who keep calling here? I'm, I'm not I'm not sure what the Indian people are calling about. They're they're calling from debt release services. And they want my credit card information, and uh, they ask for less information than you people did. <laughs> so they, I'm not really sure what that is. It may be like a debt consolidation or a debt uh, negotiation company, whereas we're a firm. So we do ask you for a lot of information, uh, you know, your social and date of birth. Yes, ma'am, and, ma and I, I, how do I know you're legit? Well, you'll see everything in black and white, and you will be signing a limited power of attorney, which is why we need your Social Security number. All right. Uh, the, cre the creditors do require that uh, when we contact them on your behalf. All right, very good. Okay. Did that help answer your question? I accept. I'm giving you uh, personal information before there's an attorney. No, well, everything is, uh, you know, very safe. I promise you that. All right. Yep. Same as in New okay. Delhi. I'm sorry? That's what the guys in Delhi say with the Indian accents. <laughs> well... Well, that I mean, you never know what they're gonna, you know, what they're gonna say. But yes, ma'am. You have. I'll give you all of my information, so you can always call me. Okay? Yeah, they say they're calling from Florida, and your chickens crowing in the background. <laughs> that is too much, and I believe it. I've had some calls like that as well. All right, that happens. Okay, so let's go through the questions, okay? All right. 
All right. First, is all the information that you provided truthful and accurate to the best of your knowledge? I, I, I forget things on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, but as far as I know, yes, sir. I mean, I'd say now later to look at that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's okay. I've been called worse. No, ma'am. I've, uh, I've been saying yes, sir, my entire professional career. And now this. <laughs> Uh, no worries. And do you understand that you will not be enrolled with the law firm until you have met with the representative and signed the documents? All right. Very good. And do you understand that the law firm is under no obligation to begin to work for you until you have signed the documents and made your first payment? All right. Okay. And do you understand that as long as you maintain your monthly payments to the program, you have full legal representation with the firm? Yes, ma'am. That sounds pretty good. Very understandable. Okay. All right, perfect. And do you understand that this program may have a negative effect on your credit? Uh, yeah, Christian said you guys were going to withhold payment to the credit card companies, and I told them they'd piss them off. <laughs> so, yes, Christian is right with that. We're going to... Uh, I'd like to know payment. how you're going to uh, piss off Visa and, and get your way with them. Okay. So, it, uh, you know, the creditors are very used to uh, dealing with, com uh, you know, pr uh, firms like ours, programs like ours. So how we get them to have the incentive to settle with the account going past due. And, yes, in lack of your, lack of, you know, better words, and in your words, you know, they may be pissed off. But to be totally honest, they have received what you have charged and then some. They've made their money off of you already. These are, you know, billions, billion dollar companies. Um, so when the account goes past you, they realize that, you know, Mr. Quigley is not sending in that monthly payment. We're not putting half of that towards fees. Um, and then here we come in, you know, you're, uh, you know, a law firm representing you saying, you know, Mr. Quigley has not made you any, you know, has not paid you anything. He owes you 4000 on this account. Uh, let's go, you know, we can send you $1,500 right now and get this over with. And they're like, oh, great. You know, let's just get it done and take it, you know, get it done over with. And then that's how we get them to settle. We deal with them on a daily basis. All right, so you piss them off on a daily basis. That's some uh, job you've got. You, you don't, well, I... No, nope. I deal with the clients. I don't deal with the creditors. I just send them letters of representation for our, our creditors. It's the negotiators who have to deal with the creditors. But they have good relationships with them because they know that, you know, that these, you know, some of our clients, they're not making payments to them anyway. So they're already, you know, past due on these accounts. Some clients are not past due. So they know they're going to get these done, settled, get off their books, and it's to the next person. All right. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Does that ma answer your question? Yes, ma'am. All right, Mr. Quigley. So that is everything I needed to review. Do you have any questions about the program, or do you think you have a good understanding of how everything's going to work? I'm looking forward to sending you in the battle against Visa for me. <laughs> well, don't worry. We're not scared of this battle. We do it all the time. I myself have been here for going on eight years, so believe me, we're got these knocked out for you. But within the 32 months, you won't have ten thousand dollars of debt hanging over your head. Well, boy, you sound like a, a pit bull in pants. <laughs> Some may say that. All right, very good. Uh, Chris, what we need to combat the the, the big callous companies. Yeah, I mean, listen, do you really think of us, you know, getting these debts settled for you? That, you know, the big wig of, you know, of American Express, do you think he really cares if we get this debt settled for less than half? No, that's that's pennies to him. So who cares? That's exactly my, uh, that's how I feel. Who cares? <laughs> so in the meantime, you got to worry about yourself. So let's get these done for you. All right. Very good. All right, so, Mr. Quigley, if I can ask you to grab a pen and paper, I would like to give you my information. So if you think of any questions, give me a call. If you speak with Bernice and she has any questions, give me a call. All right, so let me know when you're ready. I'm, I still have my the same number two pencil out from before. 
Oh, perfect. You are on the ball. So yes, again, my name is Erica. Erica. And my direct phone number is 732. All right, 732. 847. 847. 4276. 4276, Erica. All right, very good. You know, if my and wife Bernice comes back and sees that phone number next to uh, the name Erica, there's going to be a tussle here in the house. Uh, uh, uh. So maybe just put Commonwealth so she doesn't see Erica. I think and that's I a good Erica. idea. <laughs> and I don't get, you know, uh, mad Bernice calling me. No, ma'am. I, 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 if she were, uh, you wouldn't want that. She, the handbag would come out and she'd start swinging it. Uh, but I, well, listen, I don't want Bernice coming after me with her handbag. No, ma'am. Nobody does. She probably, she's probably more of a pit bull than I am. Well, she gave me, a, she gave me a shiner in the eye one time because of the, uh, the, the swinging of the handbag. <laughs> Got a... What? What happened? Why did you? Why did you oh, yeah, just misunderstanding. But that doesn't stop the Gucci from taking taking to the air. <laughs> and she hit you with a Gucci bag. You know it. Well, now you know why we got the debt. <laughs> well, hopefully she still has that Gucci bag. She did. It's like American Express. It's everywhere she wants to be. <laughs> Well, listen, she got a good Gucci bag, and we're going to get it settled for you, so even better. All right, very good. Gucci doesn't know that we're getting it settled, as long as she has the bag. I got... American I got, Express doesn't care. I got the Gucci logo on my cheek from where it hit. Wait, say, say that again? I said the damn bag left a Gucci logo on the side of my cheek. At least the Gucci bag has a nice logo. Yes, ma'am. Good. Well... No more, no more charging Gucci bags on American Express. No, ma'am. Let's uh, wait till Bernice finds out. You have to contend with her. <laughs> well, tell Bernice that it was Christian that got that Gucci bag enrolled, not me. Oh, good. Now you're going to ask her who Christian is, and we'll have a real uh, meltdown here. <laughs> All right. Tell her to give me a call. All, All right. right. So have, Very I'll, good. Let me give her. Let me give you a toll-free number. All right, now we've got another phone number to write down here. All right, so uh, it, it was the 800 number? Uh, yes, this is toll-free. All right. Okay, so that is 888. All right. 436. 436. 6454. 6454. That's the yep. money-saving hotline. Yep, that's the toll-free number for here at the firm, so save that forever. All right, very good. Okay, so then I'll, I just got you all set for tomorrow at 1 o'clock at your home. The representative coming to meet with you will call you to confirm the appointment and introduce themselves. If they leave you a message, uh, be sure to give them a call back. Uh, They're not going to come and meet with you if they can't confirm the appointment. Um, and we ask that you and Bernice each have a valid form of ID and a voided check available. Okay, and then I'll give you an idea of what's going to happen after you sign the document. So that signed contract will be sent to your local attorney for them to review. That attorney will call you to introduce themselves, and they'll be able to review the program with you as well. All right, and then you'll be receiving a welcome call from us here at the firm within 72 hours, and uh, you'll be assigned to a customer service representative who will be with you for the next 32 months. Well, we work to get these two debts settled. My goodness. All right. Why does it take so long? Well, because you're in the program for 32 months. If All right. If you're settled before 32 months, we're going to let you go. But, you know, right now, as of right now, you're giving us 32 months to get these debts settled for you. If it happens sooner, fantastic. We'll let you go. All right. Very good. Okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Franklin, any other questions? Nope. Okay, if you think of anything, give me a call back. It was a pleasure speaking with you. You made my whole day. Well, I don't know who's going to finish the day. It's not that late, so good luck with that. It's not, but I'm off to a good start. All right, very good. <laughs> All right, you have a good day. We look forward to it. Yes, ma'am. All right, you too. All right, bye-bye. All right, bye. Hello? Hi, Mr. Pickley. 
Uh, no. Can I tell him who's calling? My name is Ben McEachie. I'm a notary. Notary? Yes. Well, what's this for? You still have to have a signing tomorrow? Right. Too much information if you're not Mr. Quigley. No, okay. I'm not. Okay. Can I leave a message for him to call me back? Sure. Okay. My name is Ben, D-E-N. Right. I'm the notary. So the, so the meeting for tomorrow around 1, and my number is 917. Okay. 560. All right. 9781. 9781, all right. Okay. I look forward to him calling me back. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye. Yeah, ah, now this is a boring one. These guys have got to be a scam. And even still, you know what? Do not call list. That means don't call.